how to create WhatsApp campaigns in Brevo. So as you know, Brevo is a powerful email marketing tool and uh, website, but they also have WhatsApp email marketing offers. Well, it's not email marketing, just WhatsApp marketing campaign. So the first step is to connect your WhatsApp to Brevo. And to do that, just go to manage settings and log in with Facebook. Now we will have a few uh, notifications from Brevo uh, just in a second. So just click login with Facebook. And the first information that you need to know is that you must have a valid and a dedicated phone number to use WhatsApp Business API. Now this must be separate from your WhatsApp uh, personal uh, account and also your Instagram, uh, your personal Facebook and Instagram account. So you need to have a dedicated number to use WhatsApp business. So let's click continue. And then you must have a personal Facebook account that is linked to your business email. If you want to uh, link your personal Facebook account to your business email, there's already a video about it. I just recommend you to check it out. So the last thing is you need to prepare your business detail, like the address, company's name, and your website if you want to connect your website so with that being said so let's click continue and let's continue as myself I use the account that I uh, make for this tutorial so let's click get started and I will fill my business information now I'm just going to fill in the sensitive information real quick and I'll get back to you in a second Okay, so the next step here is to create a WhatsApp business account. Let's click next, continue, and let's name our business account name. I'll just say, I'll just match it with my business display name. In a category here, just click one that applies to your business. Let's click next. Let's wait for a second. Okay, now you have to add a phone number. So I'm just going to add a phone number that I use specifically for this tutorial. And I'll have a text message to verify it. And I'll get back to you. All right, now I've added my number and I've also received a message notification containing the verification code. And I've also put that in. In the settings, you have to do those steps too. Uh, now, the for the permission, just click continue to allow permission for Send in Blue to uh, properly connect your WhatsApp number. Now, Send in Blue is a former name of Brevo, so they're the same. Okay, so now we're ready to chat with people on WhatsApp for our business. Let's just wait for Brevo to done configuring it, and let's see the functionalities of a WhatsApp uh, campaign. All right, now for starters, you can start to connect 250 conversations every day, but this will increase as your message quality rating also increases. So at first you can already send 250 messages, but those quota, that quota will be upgraded as your message quality rating is going up. So let's go to campaigns. Okay, so now we're in the dashboard. Let's start creating our campaign. So to do that, just click create campaign and let's name this campaign as new launch. Let's say you're launching a product and you want to market it through WhatsApp. Click start. And now in the new launch, we can uh, set the sender. Now, as you can see, we have uh, set our business account uh, beforehand so we can edit this to our current number now from the two recipients you should have your contacts list so right now I only have one con I, on I don't have a contact list but I'll just use my first contact list I'll show you the context list letter later so let let's just save and now the message content is the fun part because this is where you can configure your messages. So let's just click start creating. And now I will highly recommend you to use template, but uh, let's start from scratch right now because it's grayed out. Let's start creating. Now you can name the template name. 
the templates. Now for this one, I just want to say uh, the template name is new launch because uh, the template, this one template I'll only use for my new launch, uh, my new launch uh, WhatsApp message. So I'll, I'll use the same name for the template as for the campaigns also. And a template language, I'll use English and also my number. Let's click start. Okay. Now we should see. Okay, now we're in the editor. Now this is very similar as to Bravo's email editor, right? You have your header, your button, and you also have your buttons. Now, if, if you want to enable header, you can uh, use this section as a greetings. I like to do greetings. You can also put a variable over here to customize your messages so that it is personalized to your sender. So let's say, for example, I want to say their name. So like, hello, Rayhan. Now I can do that by clicking variable over here and I can click the first name and let's just say the default here. Uh, I'll say uh, friend. There you go. Now I'll click save and I'll use our, uh, I'll put the exclamation mark over here. So uh, in my contacts list, you must have your, I must have my uh, first name, right? Off my contacts. Now that first name will be called to this message. So for example, if the contact is Rehan, I'll, I'll, I will be sending hello Rehan to the recipient. But if they don't have a, for a first name or they don't, uh, give you the first name in the contact, uh, they will be regarded as friend. So hello friend exclamation mark will show instead. Now the body is where you want to edit your WhatsApp uh, messages. I'll just uh, write in quick copywriting like this is the big thing since our first launch. Grab your newest uh, tech from us now. Now you might want to bold. Uh, you can click the bold text over here, or you can click italic over here. Uh, it will uh, automatically uh, connect. It will automatically use the formatting for your messages. You can also add buttons. Now these buttons uh, can include call to actions or quick replies, but I'll just use call to actions and the add button is, I'll just say shop now is link and the URL here is maybe to your online store, uh, or you can also change it to call number. I'll make it a link and the URL is over here, but the text, I, I want to make it a call to action. So, uh, shop now is the standard one. I'll just use shop now and the URL should is supposed to be your website. So let's just say your website.com for now. Now, uh, what this does is that if the user clicks it, it will go to your website over here. So let's click save. And that is pretty much how you configure your WhatsApp campaign. Now, I want to go back to the contacts list. Now, as you can see, any campaign needs a contacts list, right? So uh, you need to manage your contacts over here on contacts menu under home. Just add your contacts over here. Uh, if you need to populate this contacts or you don't have enough contacts for now, you can populate your contacts with a campaign. So you can even uh, add like a a newsletter uh, link maybe in your website, or you can gather uh, contacts from uh, a, an offline uh, store. So there you go. And that is all from me. Thank you very much.